welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mary J. Thank you for stopping by to yet another video. If you haven't subscribed and you're not a part of my YouTube family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video and comment as well. In today's video, I showed you guys how I apply my frontal wigs using Got To Be Blue. If you're interested in watching the video, stay tuned and don't forget to like the video at the end and don't forget to subscribe because you know you want to be here with me like so as you can see i got on a brown wig cap um any wig cap is fine but make it closer to your skin color um my hair is braided back i have already um brushed my baby hairs back and as you can see, I have the wig on and I have the lace pushed back and I'm ready to apply the got to be. I am going to be using the black got to be. I do prefer this over the yellow one um, simply because it does not leave that black um, residue. Uh, not black, the white residue that the yellow one does leave. Um, so here I am just applying a nice thin coat. Um, on my hairline So after letting that dry down a little bit, I am going in with the got to be free spray and I went on top and I used this um, just to give it an extra hold. You know, we want to keep in mind that this is um, gel, not glue. So you want the strongest hold as possible. I'm letting that dry down a little bit and I'm going to feel for it. Uh, make sure that it's like tacky not completely dry but you know it's like like semi dry so um, here you see me applying the lace right on top of that glue not glue gel um, right on top of that gel and um, you want to make sure you pull apart the rest of the hair so I am using some hair clips just to move the rest of the hair out the way you don't want it to get caught on the gel and you don't want your hairline to be messy with you know hair being stuck on the gel so here I continuing to um, apply the lace on the gel and I am going in with a rat tail comb any comb is fine um, and I'm just going to be pushing that lace into the gel you want to push it in to you know blend it and really let it melt down we want to keep in mind that this is gel not glue so um it's not gonna give you the scalp you know your lace is not gonna be as melted in as if he was using a um a gel but you know the uh if he was using a glue um but the gel I can say you'd get it down to a decent meltdown. Um, here is me just continuing to, um, you know, melt the lace in the gel. As you can see, you're gonna have some stubborn um, parts of the lace. The the ear tabs are definitely the most stubborn part so I'm just going in and adding some more glue glue I keep saying glue it's gel girl it's gel <laughs> I'm adding some more gel um, in that area and I am um, combing the hair back and also pushing the lace in that glue glue I can't get it I can't get it pushing the lace in the gel and now I will be tying my lace down with um, this silk cloth that I got from um, Celine Hair. You can use anything that you have, um, hair tie, that's fine. Just tie down your lace. 
and I, the longer you leave it the more meltdown it will be but 10 to 15 minutes is usually fine at this time you can do your makeup you can you know do whatever So after about 10 to 15 minutes, I am back and I am removing um, the tie and I am just combing that hair back away from the lace itself. Um, it's pretty good. Like, it's pretty good. You see, like, you know, this decent meltdown for some gel I don't usually do baby hairs I just would go in with, with the comb and just you know I guess it is baby hairs but I don't really go him like you know other people um, here I am going in with my um, hot comb if you don't have one please do yourself a favor and get a hot comb please but yeah i am just combing um the hair back and this just gives it that like growing out of your scalp kind of effect like it just um it like it brushes the hair back and it just silks the hair like you can just like just see what it's doing to the um to to the hairline it's just i suck at explaining things sometimes but so it's just just watch what it does for your hairline it just you know it just makes the hair look like it's coming directly from your scalp like it just like look at that just get yourself a hot comb sis like your wig life needs it get yourself a hot comb Next, I am going in with my powder brush and I am just going on top of that lace, just to blend it in a little bit. Um, there's barely any product on my um, brush, but I'm just, you know, powdering the lace just to blend it in with my face and it just looks a little more seamless, you know. And here is me just checking the hairline. I am going to be checking it to see if there is some parts that are lifted and if they are I will go ahead and fix that. As you can see there are some parts that are lifted here you go and what I am going to do is just apply some free spray onto the tail of my rat tail comb and I'm just going to push that down into my skin and I'm going to be doing that on all the parts that are lifted and the parts that could you know you know be a little bit more like blended so again that's me spraying the got to be free spray on the comb and pushing in the lace to my skin just like you're seeing here. After I have laid down all of the areas that are lifted, that would complete me laying down my frontal with some Gatsby gel. I hope that was simple enough, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment down below if you found this video to be simple and that you can do it as well. And I love you guys for supporting me. And thank you.